enjoy. No worries, mate. Take care. Nice to meet you anyway. Yeah, and you. Yeah, Guys, it has been quite a while since I last updated you with what's going on. Hello and welcome back. I hope you're all doing good. I've been, you know, like absent from YouTube for the past month or two. It's just the smell, man. I love the smell of a Mark IV. This is going to be the last video on this Golf forever. It is being sold this weekend. Which is really sad and I know a lot of people straight away are going to be like, what, you've only just started it. And I had many plans with it and I've actually learned a lot on this car, probably more than I've learned on any car previously. Just because of how much that has been done to it since my ownership. Before we get into it, I just need to say this video is the last video of this Golf. It's the last video of the sponsorship. And the sponsorship of this series has been Car Vertical. I can't thank them enough for their support um, and making this possible. So let me talk about Car Vertical a little bit later on. Let me explain the situation that I'm in. I was super excited to get this car and to just do whatever the hell I want with it because, you know, like I've installed the hybrid turbo, the front mount intercooler. All that's really left to do was to fit the injectors and the fuel pump and then get it mapped. I was gonna take it to tuning techniques. But then I started thinking about what is best for the situation I'm currently in. So I'm currently living with my parents. Obviously I've got a beautiful fiance who, you know, we wanna move out together. We need to get a place. And the job I was in is a bit confusing. I don't wanna really deep it. I went to college and everything and I studied something that I thought I wanted to do, which was visual effects. Then I went into a apprenticeship for visual effects and sitting at a computer desk from nine till six every day without moving i just couldn't do it and i absolutely hated it so i left that that was probably about four years ago three or four years ago and since then i've just been in like in between jobs tool station tesco a warehouse and then the job that i've just left i was there for just over two years it was like it was like a warehouse but it was more kind of it was a, it wasn't a big company you didn't feel like just a number there you actually felt welcome and it was a really nice place to work and i was thankful that i could work there so yeah i was there for two years obviously lockdown happened last year that gave me time to think about what i really want to do in life and obviously i was absolutely loving working on cars on this channel at the, at the time and i just kept thinking to myself what am i going to be doing in five years time i can't be doing the same thing i can't just be in this job just to make money i can't do that i need to pursue a passion for something that I have and I I want to I want to find a career that I don't feel forced to get up every day to go to work because I need to pay the bills. I want I wanted to find something that I was truly passionate for and I hope in the future it will continue to be a passion and not just work if that makes sense. While I'm selling this car is because I now need to focus on bigger things. I don't have the time to do this and I know I said all that needed doing is to get it mapped basically but it's then finding the time to go and get it mapped and there's just you know there's going to be little things come on it's a car there's always small things which don't come up and I know there will be some um how do I explain this I don't want to make this video a sponsored video but I need to um I need to stick to my word with car vertical because they have been super helpful and let me just quickly talk to you about them and then straight after we'll get into what is going on. So Car Vertical, take it away. So what is Car Vertical? Car Vertical is a website where you can put in the VIN number or the registration number of a vehicle and it will show you the entire lifespan of that vehicle. It will show whether it's been in any crashes, mileage rollbacks, important work that's been done or any flaws that the vehicle has which might not be obvious when you first look at it. It's best to use it when you are looking at a new car and you want to just 100% make sure that this car 
is not hiding anything. It's really simple to use. All you need to do is put in preferably the VIN number or the registration number into the website, pay a one-time fee, and then they'll show you on the website exactly like what's going on with that car. Where, where's it been? Where's it going? What it's like? Really helpful to use, and I'm really glad that I've had the chance to work with Car Vertical. So thank you very much for sponsoring this video. And guys, let's get back to the video. Duff says bye as well. Cool, right, now that that's done, uh, let's get a little bit more light-hearted. Yeah, so uh, I have some exciting news to tell you guys. I'm starting a new career. I actually have two exciting things to tell you. So I'm starting a new career. Uh, I'm going back to another apprenticeship, but I am training to become a, uh, how do I even say, a, a bodywork or a panel beater for cars. So the apprenticeship is bodywork, spray painting, welding, literally everything I could love or would want to learn, I'm going to learn it. So I'm that... This apprenticeship is three years long. So for these three years, I'm just gonna focus massively on that. That is my goal. I know it's something I wanna do and I wanna put all my time and effort into it. But it's exciting for the channel as well. Obviously, it means there's gonna be fewer uploads for now, but in the future, it means I can do proper stuff, proper projects and you know, not need to call someone in for help if a rusted bolt <laughs> if a bolt was snaps, you know, I, I will learn to do it myself. If if I was to keep this car, I would need to paint the front end because the front end is completely, it's whack. And in the future, if I was to get another project, I could do that myself. So this is something I'm really looking forward to. Um, it's a big change for me because obviously I'm in a full-time job that was paying well. And now I'm going to apprenticeship wages. And we're also moving out. <laughs> yep, so... I'm not going to be in this space anymore with this lovely driveway. Lovely driveway, lovely house and the barn to keep the Corrado in as well. Now basically my parents are going to be moving in a few months. They were kind of trying to get me and Lucy to get out of their way. Like not in like that because I know my mum and dad are going to watch this. So It's all cool. <laughs> we're all good. You know, we were going to move out anyway, obviously. But we're just doing it sooner rather than later. Uh, we found a nice flat to live in, which is still local to the area. It's nothing massive, but it's going to be our own place, and I honestly can't wait. And when we eventually do move, I will happily show you guys around. It's just a flat, you know, like, there's nothing major to it. And there's no, there's not going to be any driveway for me to work on the car. It'll either be on the pavement, on the road, or... I'll have to drive to wherever my parents moved to and do it there, which I probably will end up doing. It's happy and sad. Like, I'm super excited. We're both so excited to move. And I'm so excited to get this new career started. But it just means that this car's got to go. And I hope whoever buys it gets to enjoy what I've set up for it. And I hope it's okay for them. All it needs is the map and... If you wanted to, you could replace the exhaust. That would push it to near 300 brake horsepower. Uh, but one thing I wanted to say is, I've said this from when we started looking at moving, I was not gonna sell the Corrado. <laughs> and thankfully, I don't have to. I can afford to keep it. It'll probably be, it'll probably be like untaxed and kept in a garage for maybe a year, but at the end of the day, it's there whenever I need it or want it. At least I'm gonna have my baby with me, you know. This was just a project car, just something to do. And it's just a shame that it it's come at the wrong time. But I need to focus on the more important things in my life at the moment. This is gonna set me up for life when I finish this apprenticeship. And then I've got all the time in the world after that to do whatever I want to whatever car I want. So yeah, that's where I'm at. That's why I haven't been uploading because I've just been too focused on other things. Uh, if the new owner comes um, for this car and drives it away or tows it away or whatever, I'll try and get some footage of that. Just to actually see it driving. I drove it from down the end up to here though. So it does drive, it, it needs a jump start because the battery's dead, but it drives. No idea if, the, if when a new owner, if he drives it, how long it's gonna last. But I mean, I drive it from the end of the garden up to here and it didn't go bang. So fingers crossed for him. Anyway, 
thank you guys for watching. I'll hopefully see you soon. I'm still going to be uploading. I'm just not going to be uploading like deep projects like this anymore. It's just going to be one-off videos here and there on whatever I get up to to keep you guys updated because I know you guys... I know there's some of you which are there to support me and I don't want to make it seem like I'm taking the piss by just not uploading. I know you show your support and I'm so thankful for that. If you want to show your support in a different way or a way that will help me out even more, check out the link in the description for these t-shirts. I, I don't really want to strip in the car, so I'll show you in a sec. And also, don't forget to check out Car Vertical as well. Thank you so much, guys, for um, sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.